Welcome back everybody. So I thought because Christmas is vastly approaching and it's literally just around the corner, I thought we could make some small Christmas trees to decorate our house this year. So grab your pattern off of yarnspirations.com and your Lily in Sugar and Cream yarn. And once you've got your supplies together, let's get started and make some little Christmas trees. Okay, everybody, let's get started making some wonderful Christmas trees to decorate our house for Christmas this year. What you're gonna need is a pattern off of yarnspirations.com if you wanna follow along with me. The yarn, which is Lily Sugar and Cream in hot green some stuffing, scissors, a yarn needle, a size four millimeter hook, a piece of green felt, as close as the tree color as you can get, a piece of cardboard for the base of your tree, and some decorations. I have some gems and buttons here. Once you've got all your supplies, let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna make the small version of the tree. So we're gonna start with a chain two. Just make a slip knot and then chain two to begin. One and two. And then in the second chain from the hook, you're gonna put six single crochets. So hope that's one, two, three, four, that's five, and six. Okay, and then once you're done, you're gonna join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet that you made, which is right here. If you need to count backwards, you start from your hook and count back six. But join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet that you made. There you go. Okay, and now for round two, you're gonna chain one. And for the entire round, we're gonna be working in only the back loops. So the back loops are the loops that are farthest away from you. So in the next round, you're going to put two single crochets in each stitch around, only in the back loops. So the first one is right where you chained one to begin. So that's one, and two, and then three, and four. And once you've gotten all the way back around, I'll meet you at number 12. Okay. And again, just join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet that you made. With a slip stitch and then chain one to begin. Now for rounds three and four, you're just gonna do one single crochet in each stitch around, again, working only in the back loops. So just one stitch in each for two rounds. And once you've reached the end of round four, again, only working in those back loops, I will meet you at the end. Okay, I just finished round four, so this is what your tree should look like. Now, I'm doing this small tree, so the small version is right here, and it says to work from those stars, the double star to the double star. So the double star starts at the chain two and ends at round 16. So let's keep going. Okay, so for the next round, round five, we're gonna chain one to begin, okay? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put one single crochet in the next stitch. Again, only working in those back loops. And then you're gonna put two in the next one after that. So we're gonna increase in this row. Okay, 
Okay, and you're just gonna repeat that all the way around till you get back to the beginning. One in the next, and two in the one after that. Okay, and you're just gonna keep going till you've gone all the way around and join to the first single crochet. And once you've done that, I'll meet up with you. Okay, let's continue on to rounds six and seven. So chain one to begin, and rounds six and seven are gonna be the same as rounds three and four, just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And again, working in those back loops only. We're giving some texture to our tree here. So just one stitch in each for two rounds. And once you've gone all the way around, I will meet up with you at the end of round seven, and we will move on to round eight. Okay, let's move on to round eight. And again, we're gonna, we're gonna do an increase row. So chain one to begin, and work one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. So do one, and again, working in those back loops, and two, and then increase in the next stitch which means two single crochets in the next stitch. So then again, one and two, and then increase. One and two. And then again, repeat that all the way around. And once you've gone all the way around, I will meet up with you. Okay, at the end of round eight, you should have 24 stitches in total. Now let's move on to the next round, which is nine and 10. So again, chain one, and you're just gonna repeat what you did for rounds three and four and six and seven, is one stitch in each row, or each, each single crochet. And you're gonna do that for rows nine and 10. Just put one stitch in each, all the way around. And once you've done that, I will catch up with you at the end of round 10. Okay, let's move on to row 11. So again, chain one. Now single crochet in the, each of the next three stitches. So that's one, two, three. And then put two single crochets in the next one after that. And you're just going to repeat that all the way around. So one, two, three, and then two in the next one after that, four and five. Repeat that all the way around, and once you get back to the beginning, I will meet you there. All right, I'm just gonna join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet of the round without losing any of my yarn. There we go. Okay, and then chain one, and let's begin rounds 13, 12 and 13. And again, we're just gonna do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around for two rounds. And once you've gone all the way around twice, I will meet up with you at the end of row 13, and we move on to the final rows together. All right, that's the end of round 13. Let's move on to round 14 where we're gonna chain one to begin, and then you're gonna put one single crochet in each of the next four stitches in the back loops. One, two, three, four, and then two in the next one. Five and six, and do it again. One, two, three, four, and then again, two in the next one, five and six. And then just keep going all the way around and joined with the slip stitch to the very first row and I will meet you there. Okay, that's the end of round 14. So let's do the last and final two rounds of our small tree together. Chain one to begin. So for rounds 15 and 16, you're just gonna put one single crochet in each stitch around for the last two rows of your small tree. If you're making the large one, just keep going following the pattern. 
And once you hit the end of row 16 for your small tree, I will meet you there and I will show you what to do next. Okay, if you're done round 16, this is what your tree should look like. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna fasten off. And again, if you're making the larger tree, just keep going. So fasten off by chaining one. Now leave a bit of a tail to sew. Because you're going to have to cut out a circle of your green felt and a circle of your cardboard. Making sure your cardboard's a little bit smaller than your felt so it'll fit under the base of your tree. You can either sew it on with the yarn or you can use a needle and thread to sew it on properly. So what you're gonna do, is I'm gonna thread my needle just to get myself going here, but I'm also gonna stuff my tree. So I'm just gonna start putting some stuffing in my tree. I'm gonna try and get it, as, get it the, way, the way you want it. Okay. And you can add your cardboard, and then add your felt, okay, and then begin sewing. Now, if you wanna use your yarn needle and your felt, you may want to create some holes on the bottom of your felt. If you're using a needle and thread, you shouldn't need to use But what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go around each stitch all the way around, sewing your felt to your tree. And once you've done that, we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so now let's start decorating our tree. So if you wanna use buttons like they did in the picture, then what you wanna do is sew them on to where you want them. And you can sew on as many as you want or as little as you want. I actually found some sticky buttons that I'm just going to use and then I'll sew them on properly later once I've got them where I want them. So again, you just want to place your buttons wherever you want them. And if you want to, you can pin them into place to get a better idea of what your tree will look like with buttons on them. And once you've got all your buttons sewn on, your tree is finished. There we have it, everybody. We made a wonderful tiny little Christmas tree. Now, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button and the notification bell, and I will see you next week.